<laughs> Get your toy. Get your toy, Phoebes. This is little Phoebes. She loves this toy. Whoever adopts her has to get one of these. <laughs> a little racetrack. So Phoebe is about, was it three, three and a half months? Three, three and a half months old. She's an adorable tuxedo. Look at her face. Look at that white splotch on her face. Oh my gosh. She was kissed by a white paintbrush. And she's got a milk mustache. And she's got a lot of, you know, her white knee socks and white belly. She has a black dot on the back of her foot. I mean, she is beautiful. <laughs> she was just found outside and her foster mom took her in. Um, her brother was found a couple of weeks earlier with a really, really, his really, really bad foot. Like it had been either attacked by something or maybe got stuck in something. Um, loving though, from the very beginning, even when she was checking him out, he was purring. And he's, I can hear him purring behind me. That's him right there. That's Ralphie. Um, but, uh, and then a couple of weeks later, she showed up. So we don't know if maybe they were dumped because they're completely social. As soon as you pick them up, as soon as you touch them, they start purring. Hi. She's a little hesitant to me because she just met me. But, but if I pick her up and hold her, she's fine. If I just sit her and do nothing, <laughs> she... Oh, look at her. So she's very, she's a very loving cat. Um, she's not quite as active as Ralphie needs to be in a home with another cat that will really play hard with him. I mean, will really rough house with him. She's more of a laid back player. She's more of like a, well, he likes to cuddle too. Yeah, she's learning. But yeah, actually she just kind of learned to play. She wasn't playing when she very first got here. Well, look how pretty she is. Hi. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's just looking at me. What? So I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. I'm going to I'm going to take some more video of her getting some love by her foster mom because she's very affectionate and loving. She rolls over, lets you pet her belly. She like I said, these are like constant purr buckets. Very loving cats. They're going to make wonderful. They don't have to be adopted together because actually she needs to be with a, a cat that's not as that doesn't rough house as much as he does. Yeah, cuz he kind of like gets a little bit. He needs a really like and maybe another boy. Although they are kind of crazy girls out there <laughs> too. But she definitely needs to be adopted into a home with another with another kitten that she can love on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the play part of her. Well, now she's starting again. <laughs> the play part of her video up. Oh, this is our lovey dubby Phoebe side. Look at her. Look at her. Look how pretty she is. So she loves the cuddling, being held, the attention, the petting. She's just going to be such great company to anyone who adopts her. Oh, she's so sweet. And, they, and she just purrs and purrs. Not as loud as your brother. <laughs> but like I said, they just instantly, instantly purr when you touch them. Where are you going? We're doing lovey-dovey version. Well, I'm going to wrap it up. I just wanted you to see that she is a little cuddler. She loves attention and to be held and touched. And her she name is... She likes to crawl up to your oh, face. Oh, she crawls up. Oh, that's right. You said when you get her out of her, her yeah. crate that she always kisses you on the way. Yeah. Aww. She's a little snuggler. She is a... And when she gets into a home and gets, you know, comfortable and confident, she'll be even more affectionate.